what you do to me You a fuck nigga, stay up in your lane South side, get ready, north side Hey, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer, and you're watching Bali Star. And today we're just getting into Drake. This is Childish Gambino, man, by the homie Blackie Speaks. Uh, yeah, Drake recently went on tour. It's like the Drake and Twenty One Savage tour. You know what I'm saying might hit that up, maybe. I don't know, but um, yeah, like now nah, I saw clips of it. Um. I think Drake did someone else too. They did someone else. I saw a clip where uh, a female threw a bra at him. I saw some other one too. Huh. But yeah, in, in, in another clip, Drake, you know what I'm saying? Basically, and like on the stage, and, and the stage is like lighting up in like freaking, uh, freaking, uh, you know, in words and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like doing the, uh, what'd you call it? Only thing that can come to mind is like some NBA fucking thing on the scoreboard that says uh, uh, cheer or or score. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like during the NBA, it's like that on on the stage. And the words was uh, talking about Childish's Childish Gambino's. Um, this is America song. You feel me? Where Childish Gambino said like, "Oh, this was originally supposed to be a diss to Drake." You feel me? <laughs> I knew somehow, some way, Drake was gonna, was gonna see that and utilize it in some way, bro. Cause yeah, nigga petty. But yeah, man, let's get straight on into it, man. Make sure to leave a like just below the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. So we join up with the All Star Gang up in this thing. Let's get straight on into it, man. Let's go. And it started as a Drake diss, to be honest. <laughs> it's like I was like as a as like a. Now, Drake, this is Childish Gambino. Pretty unexpected, Why are you acting but childish? there's actually some backstory to this. Now, Drake, we talked about Drake just the other day after he channeled his inner baddie and pulled up with a freshly set up. Hold on, sir. What with this? Quality, I'm 1080, thank you. Actually, what, what, what is this uh, 1080p premium? Do I have to give it? Okay, yeah, no, never mind. And it started as a Drake diss, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, I was like, as a, as like a... Now, Drake, this is Childish Drake. Gambino. Pretty unexpected, but there's actually some backstory to this. Now, Drake, we talked about Drake just the other day after he channeled his inner baddie and pulled up with Drake. a freshly set of pink painted nails. I myself did catch some heat for some things I said in my last video, like I wouldn't want my son to wear pink or play with dolls. Although I'd rather my son play with action figures and wear blue because, you know, that's one of my favorite colors. At the end of the day, I'll always love my children, no matter what they choose to wear, because I received that kind of unconditional love growing up myself by my father. And there's that. Shout out to the couple hundred people who unsubscribed, by the way. I'm going to miss y'all, and I'm not being sarcastic, but you know how it is. Wait, you what? win some, you lose some. No love lost, no love found. Thank you for all the support you've shown in the past, and I wish you the best. Genuinely. Now, moving on from that, let's talk about the topic at hand. So, Drake yesterday actually decided to diss Childish Gambino. You might be wondering why, what's going on, what the hell is Drake up to? Well, aside from being spotted with his windows down in the streets of Chicago and his bulletproof Escalade, I'm assuming it was bulletproof, he actually just kicked off his It's All a Blur tour with 21 Savage. The opening night was in Chicago and it looked pretty fucking lit. Now, as Drake was performing his record, Headlines from Take Care, a classic song, I love it. But as he was performing this record, he snuck in a low Childish Gambino diss across the stage. And uh, what it said specifically is the Boss. overrated and over-awarded hit song, This Is America, was originally a trade diss record. Now before that popped up, there was something else that a lot of people kind of missed, which is this text right here that said, Drake has extended history of nice guy misogyny interesting so anyway he was performing the song headlines as he was slapping on these headlines to his stage design creating headlines. more headlines one thing about drake is he knows how to called. get people talking and he always does it to his benefit i mean just the other day we saw the pink nails by the way part of that was uh, 
promo for his album. I'm, I'm sure you realize that. Oh, a few months ago when he dropped his record, Search and Rescue, we saw him kind of taking shots at Kanye when he included an audio excerpt of Kim Kardashian talking about divorcing Kanye West. So Drake really knows how to create a conversation, and I'll always give him credit for see, this. You see, man, that's what I thought that was, man. I've been hearing that song on the radio a lot, and uh, I was like, I didn't really think about it much. It's like, why would you put Kim K's voice in there? But it's like, I thought, I knew it was like some some type of ting to Kanye. But I I didn't really care that much to dig deep into it. Uh, but now that he said that, I was like, that audio from that moment, that that was happening, of course he would use that. Crazy. One of the reasons why Drake has been able to stay relevant literally ever since he got in the game. Week after week, month after month, year after year, <coughs> at this point, decade after decade. I mean, in a couple of years, in 2027, Drake has been in the industry for over 20 years. Is the math math in 2007 comeback season? Yes, so over 20 years. That's kind of crazy, right? So from that perspective, he's really a genius. And to be quite honest, un... Wittable. Drake is at that stage of his career right now where he's beyond a machine. He has literally everything behind him, which is why failure for him is really something I don't think we're ever gonna see as long as he's present doing what he does. Now that aside, as for what the headline on the stage said, the overrated and over-awarded hit song, This Is America, was originally a Drake diss record. Now that statement, the, the second half of it, is in fact true. Did you know that? You know the song, This Is America, by Childish Gambino? That record was originally a Drake diss. Now I know that not because I called him on the phone and asked him. I know that because earlier this year, Childish Gambino did an interview with GQ revealing this, and this is what he himself said. It started as a Drake diss, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, I was like, as, a, as like a funny way of like doing it, but then I was like, this shit sounds kind of hard though. You know, so I was like, let me play with it. So we just had that for a long time. I told Hero the, the idea. Now just repeating what he said word for word, I had the idea three years before, I told the director the idea and he's like, I really want to do that. The idea for the song started as a joke and to be completely honest, this is America. That was all we had was that line. It started as a Drake diss, to be honest, as like a funny way of doing it. But then I was like, this shit kind of sounds hard though. So I was like, let me play with it. So this song started as a Drake diss. For what reason? I don't know. Like Ambino himself stated though, the idea for the song started as a joke and then transitioned into a Drake diss and then after that became what it became. As for what Drake said about the song though, do I think it's overrated? Well, let's talk about that. Before we go there, just a quick recap on what the song is actually about so we can center our attention and focus on the meme potatoes. So this song essentially was a social commentary which its intended purpose was to highlight black issues, gun violence, media, and American culture as a whole. The lyrics to this record were obviously very simple and straightforward. I mean the beginning of the song is you know one drawn out choir that repeats I know those vocals were extremely clean, no standing ovation. Especially when you either. got different artists for the albums, bro, that shit was crazy. Anyway, and then the bridge comes in, we just want to party, party just for you, we just want the money, money just for you, same thing there, simple, straightforward, and then the hook, this is America, don't catch you slipping now, don't catch you slipping now, and then the verse, same thing there, simple, but a different ring to it, both sonically and lyrically. But the most imperative aspect of the song was of course not the song itself. The song just served as a backing, if you will, for the music video which actually portrayed in detail what Gambino was precisely trying to accomplish with the record. There were a lot of symbolism, metaphors, and analogies which directly supported the concept of the song and its message. Without this music video, the song is really kind of useless if you think about it. It's really not an amazing song in itself, right? And if you ask me, I actually think the song in itself, okay, just by itself alone, is really whack. I don't like it from a musical standpoint. Had I heard the song not knowing about the music video, I would have turned that off with the quickness. And that's just me, by the way. If you like it, do your thing, okay? That being said, you know, that is in an imaginary world because the music video does exist and it greatly displays an array of social issues that concerns black Americans and Americans in general. And the most important part, it's all connected. 
Personally, I thought how Gambino presented this body of work with the visuals was genius. It wasn't supposed to be perfect, immaculate, like nor impeccable. Song. It was simply supposed to highlight a collection of social issues while in the process I'm start a conversation, that right after. which is exactly what it did. Uh, so the up. song, independent like, from the visuals, might be overrated, but in connection with the video itself, it becomes a great, polarizing, and potent piece of work. This was not a record that was supposed to stand on its own. I think the ultimate win in the situation with this song is the fact that Gambino dropped a record which prompted a global discussion about the black struggle, the American struggle, and everything in between. It's hard to look at that and call that overrated because if that's overrated, what exactly are all the songs Drake has dropped that didn't start an impactful conversation? Obviously underrated and I'm sure Drake would want all of his songs that went under the radar to actually be overrated. Because what song was that? I don't that think any artist makes J uh, Janae Aiko. I was like, yo, because that wasn't Janae's Aiko, Janae Aiko song. That was, I think that's Charles Gambino's song. What song was that? Up that didn't start an impactful conversation. Obviously underrated, and I'm sure Drake would want all of his songs that went under the radar to actually be overrated, because why not? I don't think any artist makes a piece of art hoping that it stays underrated, because why would you want it to get the praise that it deserves? I think the focus should be the fact that we're talking about this song all these years later. That really goes for something, you know? It wasn't perfectly executed, but what piece of art is perfectly executed? Everybody has been saying that, hey, you know, this is America's overrated because, you know, these other artists have done it better. But I've yet to see a music video and song in the mainstream that's caught the attention of so many people all around the world at once and started so many important conversations all at once. I mean, has Drake himself, as big as he is, dropped a record that's started this many important conversations all at once? I don't think so. Please fact check me if I'm wrong. I mean, Drake got the one dances, you know, I need a one dance, got a energy in my hand. He also got the Highline blings, you used to, you used to, but does he have a This Is America? No, he doesn't. And by the way, those are some good ass songs. If they come on in the club, I quickly go from, hey bro, I gotta, I gotta head home because you know, I gotta drop some videos for my people. To where the shots at, where the drinks at, hey, I ain't going nowhere, bro. We not leaving this establishment until Blackie Speaks got some margaritas in his system. And by the way, if This Is America comes on in the club, I'm leaving Margaritas that, in I'm this is all the I forgot I had some videos in gone. So I wasn't lying when I said that I think the song is kind of whack on a musical level. So Drake, I don't agree with you on this. No, no, I heard it stand alone up. I was all right. To me, I feel like the Adams made it. This is America might be overrated sonically, but the message was far from overrated or over-awarded. The message actually discussed real issues that affect real people in real lives. And to me, if you call that overrated, I'm gonna have to question your viewpoint yeah, on a few things. Cute. Now that aside, Drake, you got me. I am in fact excited for the album because this is all promo for his upcoming album, guys. That's why Drake did this. You probably called Gambino on the phone before he did this and they might have a dinner schedule a couple weeks down the road they might even drop a song together or share a might joint feature or drink. on his tour you know how it goes when it comes to the rap game and the music industry in general what you see is in fact not what you see because there's always concealed moves being made behind the scenes remember that guys remember that anyway drake this is childish gambino any thoughts on us do you guys think this is america's overrated and over awarded like the boy Aubrey said, or do you maybe agree with me? Regardless of what you think, I'm just curious to hear what you have to say. Let me know, and uh, I'm out. 100. All right, you guys. So that was Blackie Speaks with uh, Drake. Drake this is Childish Gambino, man. Um, it is what it is. You feel me? Uh, who knows what could occur from that? What could happen? You know what I'm saying? Uh. Maybe it could be a good beef. Maybe I'll be uh, again. He could have spoken to Charles Gambino, and you know this could have been made after they spoken already. So who knows? Again, who knows? I don't know. That probably could not have happened. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below. Y'all know it's Boomer, and you're watching Bali Star. So yeah, man, make sure to leave a like, just below the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, so I'll join up with the All Star Gang up in this thing. Hey man, brand new album, The Curse of Blessing Deluxe. It's out now, it's out here, it's outside, it's right here. Ooh! I don't know what to do, I just want.